Alright, as we continue to review the Nook ebook reader, uh, we also have the Sony uh, the e-reader, the daily e-reader next to it. So we're just going to demonstrate here quickly uh, page flip speed with uh, a book I downloaded called uh, Clive Cussler. Uh, it's by Clive Cussler, it's called Arctic Drift. So we click both buttons at the same time and we're going to just run through um, the, the title until we get to the main part of the book and you can see that uh, overall the Nook refreshes slightly faster and because of the screen size the amount of text it can display is also quite a bit more. Uh, it is a 6 inch screen versus the 5 inch screen on this other Sony so uh, once we get caught up again here there we go so in the same amount of time now we're just going to flip uh, 10 flips as fast as we can here. And you can see that the uh, page size and the refresh of the Nook is definitely greater than the Sony. Also one thing that makes the Nook quite unique and, and actually quite handy is the color uh, touch screen down below. Now unfortunately with the, with the lighting as it is and with this flip camera uh, the screen is not that clear. I'll try and pull it up closer although with fixed focus we're having issues but um, you can just simply navigate different parts of the book this way. Uh, you touch that twice it goes to your main library and then you can pick up uh, daily stuff. If you have daily subscriptions that works also you can just check out your entire library. Now this is the downloaded library that I have put on myself. So there's not a lot of the cover art that you're used to seeing in the promotions, but if you go to the Barnes and Noble library, uh, where then you can show covers. And now these are the books that I have bought through the Barnes and Noble library. And while the screen scrolling isn't flawless, it's definitely a handy little feature that uh, as you scroll or touch a book, it actually corresponds with that on the e-ink display. And you can close that down, go back to this one, and uh, navigate. Another thing that is quite interesting with this uh, is the fact that it plays back audio files, it'll play back podcasts, uh, mp3s, unprotected mp3s. It also has a couple of games. Uh, the default games are Sudoku and chess. Uh, I suck at chess, I'm not much better at Sudoku. Um, and then, of course, all of your game navigation is done down here. You can uh, navigate to which quadrant you want in Sudoku and then enter the number. Uh, actually, fairly intuitive, really. Uh, among a lot of the settings, we also have a feature that's web. It's beta. It's actually kind of interesting. It's Again, you're not going to want to replace your tablet uh, PC with this, but you load up the color web page down here, you can scroll through, click on links down at the bottom, and while you're doing that, you can see the highlighted area of the color screen, and then of course you can see more of the web page. So a lot more than just an ebook reader. This allows games, library, custom uh, file formats, uh, shopping. It's connected to Wi-Fi, so you can actually download stuff right from Barnes and Noble. Um, not a bad way to go. I mean, it's it's not a Kindle in some aspects, but it's definitely a good alternative. Uh, 149 for this version. Uh, since this was released, Kindle and Amazon have released their 139 wireless version. When I bought this, this was the cheapest Wi-Fi capable uh, ebook reader around, but now there's a $20 cheaper version. If you still want to go with the Kindle, that's definitely an option. But for those of you that want something other than the big Amazon, uh, and a color touch screen down below. Make sure you check out the Nook.